Right, good afternoon. Welcome to Gale Force 101. We're glad to uh, bring you another exciting video. Uh, today's topic, we're going to be covering how to do overlay files and how to do difference files inside of your Gale Force uh, Force Distance software that comes along with your ProData machine. Um, it's a pretty simple process. It, uh, it's very, very good as far as uh, the data that it provides uh, in helping you, you know, determine different factors in your setup. It allows you to actually uh, go in and, and do side-by-side -side comparisons of different setups and, and show overlay graphs and, and uh, get some, some pretty detailed uh, data about your setup. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our force distance software icon and double click on that get it opened up. You can see it's opening. Drag it down here where you guys can see it a little better. And in the inside the software you'll see uh, three different options right here across the top. First you'll see overlay files, then you'll see diff files or difference files, and you'll see about. Um, what we're going to do first, we're actually going to show you guys how to do a difference file. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to click on difference files. You'll see this little dialog box that comes up and the only uh, button that's, that's open right now is results file. This is going to be the, the file that encapsulates uh, all other files in the difference file. Um, so uh, you want to name it accordingly. Um, you double click, not double click, just click there. Um, when you load your force distance software on your computer, it's automatically going to make a directory on your C drive called Gale Force. Okay, and that's what we're inside of right now. And it'll automatically do that. Now, you can save files directly inside of this, or you can right click, go down to New, click Folder, and name uh, name your own you know folder. Um, and that's where you see these folders across. I don't, I don't need that folder. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to click and I'm going to delete that folder that I just made because I don't need it. Okay. Um, my files that I want to do uh, a difference test on is under shop test. I'm going to double click that. Okay. Because I want to save this file inside of shop test. Okay. So I'm going to go down here to my, my file name and I'm going to name it. And I'm going to name it video dash test dash diff for difference okay now right here inside of this particular uh, dialog you need to type dot xls behind uh, your file name because there's a little bug in the software that doesn't automatically name it an excel uh, file type um, we're working on that in a new software update to fix that bug but that's the workaround right now just um, in your results file, always name it .xls after your name that you type in there. We're going to click open, okay? And you can see it, it brings that in there. So our results results file is going to be video test difference.xls. Now we're going to pick our first file to compare, okay? I'm going to go back inside of uh, shop test and I'm going to pick this shop test 13 1 file uh, as my first file to compare. I'm going to click open, okay? It's going to load that in there. Now you'll see file two button actually highlights there, so it's ready to go. We're going to go in and, and select our second file that we want to compare. Once again, I'm going to go back to my shop test and I'm going to pick shop test 13 3. Okay? You'll see as it loads in there, the uh, show difference button lights up. So that lets us know that all the files are loaded and we're ready to go. Just click show difference and then uh, Microsoft Excel will open up. Now you, you do have to have Microsoft Excel to run the force distance uh, software. Uh, it's pretty easy to get. It's not, not that hard. Uh, it'll actually, when it opens up, it'll open up on the, on the graph display and you can see uh, the, the two different, you can see down here at the bottom, shop test 13-1 is represented by the red line. Uh, shop test 13-3 is represented by the yellow line. Okay. And across the bottom is our travel, and up the side is our actual load rate. Okay, all right. Now, to get even more data, uh, the machine actually calculates and picks up data every sixteenth of an inch. Okay, so we're going to go over here and click the little data button. You can toggle back and forth between graph and data on the lower left corner. We're going to click data, and then you'll see four columns. Okay, our left column is our our travel, our uh, travel all the way through in sixteenth of an inch increments. Um, our first difference file, our shop test 13-1, oops, sorry about that little dialog box there. Our 
Second column here is the shop test 13-1. You'll see the force all the way through. Then a third column is shop test 13-3. You'll see it all the way through. And then our fourth and uh, really cool and important column is our difference. Okay, You can see this particular setup. We started out uh, with 686 pounds at zero. And then our second one started off at 854 pounds at zero for a difference of 168 pounds between the two setups. Okay, now if you pull this down, scroll down, you can see all the way, you know, three inches. Our force on this setup was 1231. Our force on this was 1394. And it had 163 pounds in difference between the setup. You can look all the way across this setup and there's somewhere between 140, 150 pounds of difference pretty consistently all the way through. Okay. Um, now we're going to close out of here and I'm going to show you how to go back and, and sh see those files. We're going to always go down here to the left to the start button, click on computer, okay. We're going to click on our C drive and then we're going to find our Gale Force folder. Double click that Gale Force folder and you'll see our folder that we had named shop test. Open that up, okay, and then you'll see our video test dash difference. That's where that file is if you want to go open it up again. Okay, you can take a look at it again. Uh, we can open it up from there. All right, now I'm going to go back to our load software, our force distance software. I'm going to show you how to do an overlay file. Uh, what we're going to do is basically the same process. We're going to click overlay. Uh, in overlay, it allows us to choose up to five files. Okay, we're going to we're going to name our overlay file, and we want to house it inside of our shop test deal in our shop test folder so we're going to double click on that and we're going to name it we're going to name it shop dash test dash ovr for overlay okay and then once again on this particular uh, file we're going to type in dot xls so that the system recognizes it as a microsoft excel file we're going to click open okay and then that lets us opens up our file one option to pick file number one now I'm just going to go through here and pick some some random tests so you can see. Um, open. That'll load. And then we're going to pick file number two. Um, and we'll go in here and we'll just pick some random ones just to show you uh, the power of the software. We'll pick file number three. File number four. Um, file number five. Okay. All right. Now all of our files are picked. Our show button is opened up. We're going to click show. Once again, it's going to open up uh, Microsoft Excel. All right. We're going to minimize our force data so we can see. All right. Now you can see curves all over the place. And if you look down here, you can see the red line is this particular test. The yellow line is this particular test. Um, the green line, the blue line, and the purple line. Um, I don't really know exactly what test that, that blue line was. It don't show on here, so it must not have been a complete test, but you can see there. Now you can go back down here to your bottom left and click your data tab. Yeah, you can see that one test, it didn't have any data in it, so I apologize for that. But um, as you can see, it'll show you the travel and uh, the force, the travel and the force for each and every one of them. It doesn't show you the difference in this one. Um, it just does the overlays. We can click back over here more for the graphing side of things. Uh, so you can see that. So as you can see, the uh, the Gale Force Pro Data Machine gives you a ton of information and, uh, and just uh, an outstanding asset and tool for uh, comparing different setups and, and looking at different types of information there. Um, on that crazy dialog box again. Um, we appreciate uh, your business. Uh, we hope this video was very informational for you. We plan on bringing you many more videos in uh, Gale Force 101. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to give us a call. Uh, we're always here to help.